Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, disabling WPAD in Windows 10. Uh, what is WPAD? Okay, uh, WPAD stands for Web Proxy Auto Discovery. It's a way to automatically configure a proxy server on your system. Windows sometimes enable this by default, and that's a problem, especially on Windows 10, which I'm going to show you guys. Problem, you probably say, why is a problem? All your web browsing traffic will be routed through the proxy server first while you're connected to a Wi-Fi. That's not good. Uh, which means your the information that you're surfing is going to be exposed. Sensitive data such as your passwords, uh, credit card stuff is going to be exposed through that tunnel of the proxy server. Now, is this needed? Well, it's useful for organizations or schools that need to configure a proxy server for their network. If configured correctly, all systems with WPAD enabled will talk to your proxy server by sending your browser traffic to it rather than directly going to that website you want it. This allows organizations and schools to perform web filtering and caching that may be necessary to bypass the firewall within their network. This is great when you're dealing with organizations and schools that are really tight on security of what their kids or their employees see when they're using their internet. Now, what's the risk? If the systems are configured to use a dangerous proxy server by a malicious Wi-Fi connection, then your web browser is vulnerable to, to snooping and other attacks. How to disable it. So I'm going to show you guys how to disable this guy. So right now I have a Windows 7 uh, virtual machine. Do a uh, auto config. Right now I have Windows 10, which is 1703. That's the version right now. Windows 10 Enterprise, and that's the eval version. And I'm going to show you where it's enabled. And it's by default. So right now, if you go inside your notification area and you click on all settings, within all settings, you want to go inside the network and internet, go to proxy, and there it goes. Automatic proxy setup. Use a proxy server for the Ethernet or Wi-Fi connections. These settings don't apply to VPN connections. So VPN users kind of bypass the proxy server thing, but it is turned on by default. Automatically detect settings. This is sucks because if there is a proxy server within your Wi-Fi network that you don't notice and this setting is on, your machine is automatically going to go inside that proxy server and it's going to start grabbing all that sensitive information that you don't want people to have. So turn that bad boy off. So if you are using Windows 10, go inside your settings app, go inside the network and internet, go to proxy, make sure this guy is turned off. Turn it off and then you're good to go. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.